For my Northern Hemisphere friends, today I'm going to be focusing on how to put together outfits that look really stylish when it is cold outside but that are actually going to keep you warm. And you have to mind my voice, I had way too much fun at my sister's wedding belting out all of the tunes, so I lost it, it's slowly coming back, but it's a little bit scratchy. Bear with me. <laughs> now, I do want to share that today's video is in partnership with W Concept, and you will know I've been wearing items from W Concept for years and years. I feel like their edit of Korean designers is just chef's kiss and it is one of my favorite places to browse and shop. I can't even tell you how many items I have saved in my bookmarks from their store and as you'll know I'm actually planning to purchase a couple of things from their Black Friday sale and they currently have 50% off when you use the code BF2022 until the 29th of November. I'm going to include all of the discount and promo details down in the description box below. Every single thing that I wear is going to be linked down there as well uh, and I will be mixing in these W Concept pieces with other items from my wardrobe showing you how I mix and match them. Now I am going to do this as part styling and then I'm also going to give you some useful tips, things that I think are non-negotiable when it comes to staying warm when it is really cold outside. I want to dive right into the outfits, I always love this part, we're going to talk through proportions, textures, all of that good stuff. I'm going to touch on this a bit more in my non-negotiables, but we're starting with a great base layer, some good heat tech which fits really nice and close to the body so that I'm going to stay snugly and warm regardless of what I put on over the top. And this is going to be that thermal insulating layer. Then we're going to put on a pair of trousers. These are in a dark charcoal grey and they're from Front Row. These are wool and they're actually quite a heavyweight trouser which I like. It's going to be something that is again going to be insulating and add a really nice warm thermal layer over the top of your heat tech leggings. I also have added some socks on as well. This is an obvious one. These pants have a beautiful drape to them and being a wider leg it means you can really layer up if you absolutely need to. For my shoes I've opted for this beautiful pair of ankle boots from Reiki Nen. I am obsessed with them. These are in a patent and they add this nice glossy effect to the outfit. One of the things that I like to think about a lot when I'm putting together my outfits is how textures play with each other especially when I'm going for a tonal look which this one is. These have a low block heel which is very easy to walk in and you can see here that the trousers just drape nicely over the front of the boot so you don't have any awkward visual breaks in your outfit and being a pointed toe it is also visually elongating. I've decided just throw on a crew neck sweater. You could also add another layer underneath if you needed to. This sweater is from Jenny Kane and it's a lovely cotton cashmere mix. Really nice and slouchy so I've done a bit of a messy tuck. The knit is super slouchy but by tucking it into the trousers which do define my waist I am playing into that rule of thirds. We've added a coat over the top again in a grey. I told you this was a tonal look and this coat I really like because it has those very sharp shoulders and this is definitely a trend that I feel like we've seen on the luxury designer runway. YSL is definitely one of those luxury brands that comes to mind with this silhouette but it does feel really classic. The long length of it as well is going to be something that keeps you nice and toasty. This is really really thick and it's a wool and cashmere blend. Feels phenomenal to wear and it looks very chic when it's worn open as well as when it is worn buttoned up. Then as my finishing touch I have added my Le Mer croissant bag just for another little textural element. This is a matte flat leather but it does have a bit of shine to it which I really like and I think that finishes off the outfit really really nicely. The second outfit is going to be another tonal look. So again starting point is our base layers and we're going to throw on top these really beautiful wool wide leg pants from We, and I love that these are a little bit more fluid rather than structured because I think a lot of items that we wear during the colder months do tend to have a little bit more weight, a little bit more structure to them, but these have this nice fluidity to them and movement which is really stunning. I have also thrown on a pair of socks. Just opted for some grey ones because the boots are going to cover them up so it doesn't really matter. Then for my shoes I'm wearing these beautiful creamy coloured boots with a low block heel from Chasseur Lapin which hopefully I pronounced that correctly. These are in the softest most supple leather and again they are really nice and comfortable and it's all down to the fact that they are a low block heel. They have a zip up closure at the back of the heel as well which makes putting them on really really easy and I do quite like the fact they have that toe cap which is in the same colour as the boot. Now the idea here is that I wanted to create a really nice visual column which is why I'm wearing a boot that is in a similar shape to the trousers. Then for my knit I'm wearing this super thick cable knit 
cardigan jacket from Blank 03. And you can see up close this has such a stunning texture to it and it is very, very thick. This is so warm, I can't even tell you. And the buttons, they have this almost pierced effect to them, which is really, really interesting and a detail you only see when you're looking up close. I also like the fact that the buttons are in a chocolate brown because it creates a slightly softer contrast against the creamy color of the cardigan. This isn't a beautiful wool. I don't find it itchy, but I think regardless, if you are wearing that underlayer, you aren't gonna find that it bothers you or irritates your skin. Then we've got my coat, so here again you can see I'm leaning into those creamy neutrals and this one is from Manso Gabrielle. I purchased this one pre-loved, unfortunately sad to say, however on W Concept they have a really similar one, it is from Kinder Salmon. I have it in my own closet, I'm going to put a photo on screen of me wearing it. It is one of my absolute favourites, I know many of you have purchased it based on my recommendation and it wears really well in case you were wondering. This again has that really nice long length. As you can see, I'm really thinking about how we can keep our bodies nice and cocooned and warm when we are walking out and about. Finally, my bag is black, which adds some nice contrast and it sort of becomes the hero, I think, of the outfit. This is from a brand called Demeca. I think I'm probably butchered that. <laughs> if you know the correct pronunciation, please let me know. I love that this has a lot of structure to it. It has the gold hardware. It's a really nice size as well for fitting all of the essentials and it does add in that nice little element of shine to the outfit as well and because everything else that I'm wearing does have a little bit of fluidity to it, at least the trousers do when they're peeking out the bottom, having that contrast with the structured style of the bag I think is a really nice blend. My next outfit is kind of like my going out outfit I would say. So we're starting with that same base as from the previous outfit. I've got on the black for the top, the black leggings, and then I've also got the gray socks. And you're gonna see where I'm going with this in a moment. So, starting with trousers, these ones are from We Made Non, and I love the style of their trousers, how they fit very, very high up on the waist. They do have a longer uh, drop or rise to them, so probably a style that works better for those of you who do have a longer torso. These are more of a barrel leg, which creates a really interesting silhouette, and I think that this works really nicely when paired with heels, either sandals uh, or something that is maybe more of a boot with a pointed toe. I just think it looks really chic because it creates this nice silhouette around the ankle. For my shoes, I've gone with a sandal and I really wanted to show you how you can wear your socks with sandals. I really like the fact that this creates a little bit of contrast, there is a pointed difference and it is a nice way to incorporate your sandals into your winter outfit so you don't need to put them away for half the year. If you live in a warmer climate like me then you can probably get away with wearing them without socks but if you live somewhere cold then I think this is a must. Typically something that has more thicker straps would be better but I'm just working with what I've got here at the moment. These ones are from Tony Bianco, they're actually pretty comfortable. Then for my top, I've opted to wear this floaty blouse from Jenny Kane. And you can see here I've worn it open. It's not that obvious because I do have that thin layer underneath. However, to really add a little bit more contrast and just more of a striking element, I have worn a gold chain necklace which really pops against the black of the blouse and that thin underlayer. This has a lot of movement and flow to it which I think is really beautiful. Then the jacket. This one is from In Or and it is in a wool tweed and my gosh, it is really beautiful, really thick. You can see that there is so much lovely texture to it when I come up close to the camera and it has these lovely silver aged buttons as well. Sometimes when you're going out, you don't necessarily want to be wearing a really big thick coat. So having a nice warm wool blazer is a great alternative because you can easily layer up with some other accessories like a scarf. Finally, for my bag, I am just wearing that same Demaka Demaka bag from earlier, which again, I just think pairs really nicely because it is so elegant. It feels really refined and elevated. The final outfit that I have to share is going to lean a little bit more on those beigey colors. So again, starting with our base layer, we're just gonna have on some socks as well. We're going to wear our trousers. These ones are from Eveline and they're in this kind of rich, warm caramel color. I'm really into that high-waisted drapey trouser at the moment. I think it is great for layering a lot and I can see why people are so drawn to them in the colder months. The shoes that I'm wearing are from Veja and these are just a great little sneaker. When I am wearing more of a white leg fluid trouser and I want to keep it a little bit more casual. I think that this is the easiest and best way to do it. Plus I find that the rounded edge of the sneaker just creates a softer finish at the foot. 
and it feels a little bit less formal. Then we've opted for a cardigan. This one is from Quince and it's in a cashmere, really nice and soft and there is a bit of contrast between the underlayer I'm wearing plus the cardigan. I think if I was wearing a creamy colored underlayer that would probably be a better fit here. I just don't have one on me right now. And you kind of see what I've done here is I've really bookended my outfit because I'm wearing that lighter top and then I've got the lighter shoes. And this is a really simple styling trick for when you don't know what shoes to wear with your outfit. The pista resistance of this outfit is definitely this Teddy Tweed Boucle jacket from Nine and I'm obsessed with this. I think that it looks like it is really light but actually in person it is very heavy and very hefty and so warm. It is a great crop style jacket. I like the fact that it adds this more kind of elegant look to the outfit especially when contrasted against that very casual vibe I've got going on at my feet with the sneakers. The details on this are everything. I love the little trim with the pockets, the buttons. I just think that so much care and attention has been taken to the details which I absolutely love. And what I've done here, actually you'll see a bit later, is that I've also shown you how it looks with a couple of the top buttons done up. What I like about this jacket is that it is cropped. So again, I am playing into that rule of thirds really, really nicely here. Because I really wanted to lean into the tonal look, I opted to wear this with a buttercream colored bag from a brand called Yeezy. This is actually one that folds down flat, which is really, really neat. I like the fact that, again, I'm playing with balancing out the contrasting elements or styles in my outfit. So the bag is quite structured whereas the rest of my outfit has so many soft fluid elements to it. So those were the four outfits and in terms of my non-negotiables when it comes to keeping it warm when it is cold. First up, you need heat tech. This is a must. If you aren't wearing heat tech, I don't know what you're doing. This is the thermal underlayer which is going to just sit really close to the body and keep you really warm. If you absolutely need to at your destination, you can easily take it off, but this is not going to add any extra bulk to your outfit. The second thing that you are really going to want and need is to have great hats and scarves. Now, mine are all in storage because it is summer here in Australia, um, so and we and we are currently renovating our house. But a good wool beanie or cashmere beanie and matching scarf, or it doesn't even have to be matching, but just something that is going to envelop you, blanket you. That is also a good winner. Another thing that you're probably going to want to consider are some good gloves. And I would say the style that you can actually use with your iPhone, because when you consider the areas of our body where heat tends to escape, it is our head, it's our hands, and it's our feet. And usually we're wearing nice thick socks with our boots, we've got a hat on, but our hands, we're on our phones all the time. So having gloves, which are actually going to keep your hands warm and toasty, but that will still allow you to use your tech are also a big bonus. The next tip is to really think about the fabric composition of your items. So for me, this is looking at items that have a really good wool content because that is going to keep you really warm. You know, lamb's wool, merino, yak, alpaca, cashmere, any type of wool yarn is going to be something that will keep you toasty. I know that this isn't going to be a possibility for everyone, which is why that underlayer is so important. You can even wear two layers if you absolutely need to, if you're wearing a cotton sweater. But for me, Thinking about the details of composition of what we're wearing, that is also key to keeping warm in the colder months. The other thing is to really not neglect your coat, your choice of coat. I think this is an area in our closet that is really worth splurging on, spending a little bit more to get something that is high quality, that is not made out of polyester, that is actually made out of wool, again, for that very reason that I just mentioned before. So those are kind of my non-negotiables when it comes to keeping warm in the winter months. I hope that you enjoyed this video, that you got some outfit inspiration, you got some ideas for how to wear items in your closet, maybe spotted some new things that you absolutely love from W Concept. A huge thank you to them for partnering with me on this one. And don't forget that you can get 15% off for their Black Friday sale using the code BF2022 at checkout. Thank you so much for watching, for spending some of your day with me and for bearing with my rather croaky voice. I would love to know which of the outfits was your favorite. Please tell me down in the comment section below and I will see you very soon with another video. Thank you and bye. <laughs>